guys my name is FJ Eric and today I'm gonna to give you my top three overlanding mods it's gonna make your life a lot more simple and all these mods are gonna be for any type of budget I'll give you a few examples and also everything that you're seeing uh, I will have a link in the description below these are in no particular order uh, but my number one probably has to be storage and these drawers have been a lifesaver for me now this is what I was talking about about any type of budget uh, because you don't have to have drawers from bottom to top uh, I got a friend that's only got two on the bottom uh, he loves those wasn't quite enough room for me so as far as staying organized probably been the biggest lifesaver for me I'll show you a few pictures of what it used to look like when I just had stuff <laughs> thrown everywhere um, before I had anything and then I ended up having a shelf that I thought was gonna work. Uh, I think I had what, like one cubby underneath it and then um, ended up taking all the seats out and everything like that. So now I actually have some space that's a little bit more organized and it's just, it's been a world of difference. So this top drawer right here, I've got all of my food uh, for camping. Pretty much just stays in there all the time, dry food. Bottom one is actually gonna be my tabletop and this thing lifts up and that's gonna keep all my pots and pans. This bottom one comes out and that's gonna be my stove. On this other side, I've got some recovery gear, uh, which helps a lot having tools and rope and all that other jazz right back there. I'm just being out of your way. I do also keep my tree saver uh, outside the vehicle because it's a lot easier to get to just in case something were to happen. And then up front beside me, I've got my soft shackle um, for the winch and then also the remote for the winch. So that way I don't have to come back here uh, if, I, if I actually can't open the door or something like that. And then up top is just kind of like my junk drawer that I've just kind of thrown everything up into. Um, but yeah, huge lifesaver. And like I said, you don't have to have um, you know eight different drawers to be organized. Just a little bit of something goes a long way. And also, while we're back here, uh, going to bring me to my second line, which is going to be the fridge. Now, talk to anybody. If they have a fridge, they will never go back to a cooler. I'm one of those people. It just makes it so much easier when you don't have to stop for ice. You know, even if the cooler actually stays cold and your ice has melted, uh, digging food out and everything like that, just, you know, kind of soaking wet, some stuff leaks, uh, just kind of gets everywhere. It, uh, it's, just a, it's just a really big hassle to have. And the fridge is so easy because you can just plug it up uh, to any type of outlet, 12 volt outlet. Like I've got a dual battery set up, so I've got one of those ran uh, straight to the secondary. So technically you can have them on um, all the time as long as you got something in there uh, that helps save a little bit of power. But so I've got the fridge on a uh, slide tilt. John, my buddy had uh, actually built the drawers, he built that as well. So big thanks John, I'm still getting a lot of use out of it. They make fridges in all different sizes. This is gonna be the 50 quart um, ARB. It'll be in the link description. You know, you can kind of do that on any type of budget as well because I actually got this fridge off of a uh, eBay auction. So it was a lot cheaper than buying it brand new. And, uh, and I've got some friends that's got some uh, lower end uh, brands, I guess you could say. And then I've also got some friends that's got some higher end brands. And do they work all about the same? Yes. But as far as like the general um, idea, you can, you know, you can have a cheaper fridge and a more expensive fridge and it's gonna get you pretty much the same result um, as far as using it. So second one has to go to the fridge. I'm, I'm just a huge fan of it and uh, that's probably actually my favorite purchase that uh, about the whole build <laughs> to be honest. But anyways, moving on to number three and that is gonna be lights. And I'm not talking about just exterior lights, like me having the ditch lights and the uh, bumper, I'm talking about lights everywhere, meaning inside the cab, uh, in the back somewhere that you can just kind of reach to. Just having lights hidden everywhere has made a huge difference for me. Because so you've got a light in every single door. Um, whenever you need it on that door, you just use it and then you can kind of just throw it back in there. And it's not like you have to have one light carrying around everywhere. And I'm talking about flashlights, magnet lights, reverse lights, uh, exterior lights, any type of you know fog, amber, string lights, fluorescent light, night lights, stick lights. I mean, the whole nine yards. Like, I actually wish I had more lights. Um, 
and I probably will put on some more lights because I, I really just like to see, you know? It just makes life a lot, a lot easier. So again, on any type of budget, I mean, all of mine have came from Amazon, uh, except for the Bajas, and I got those used as well. So, I mean, just keep a lookout because you can get um, really dirt cheap lights. But yeah, I would say uh, that pretty much covers my top three. That's just based off my experience, uh, to be honest. Much loud trucks. And that's just some things that's really helped me out um, that I kind of wish, I guess I would have taken a little bit more serious um, at, at the beginning. And you really don't think about it until you experience it. So just uh, like, subscribe, and uh, I'll be able to put out some more uh, videos for y'all. Peace.